Welcome to, well, welcome again to uh, Watch Hill. This is uh, Ocean House. A little bit about the hotel. Originally built in 1868. Um, Watch Hill gets its name uh, from the high point that's behind here that's occupied by uh, someone called Taylor Swift. Uh, her house is actually built on Watch Hill and that's where the town gets its name. The name of that house is uh, called High Watch. Um, I encourage you to go take a look at it. It's got kind of a cheeky sign. You know some of her songs. I'm not saying I do, but I have two girls at home that sing them all the time. And at Loud mm -hmm. Octaves, uh, you'll get what she's saying in the sign there. Um, <laughs> anyway, this hotel was built in 1868. Um, went through a series of um, additions, as we uh, typically do in New England. We sort of add uh, as time goes on. Uh, it got to the point in 2003 where it wouldn't meet the, uh, the updated uh, fire standards. Um, it was sold in 2005, and uh, they did it the old-fashioned way. They leveled the hotel completely and then rebuilt it uh, to its mm. model where it was in 1868, slightly smaller. There are 45 rooms. I believe it had over 100 uh, when it was first built. So I uh, hope you like your bed. I think it's a pretty nice place to be. Um, and this is just some pictures of what it looked like back in the day, so uh, pretty accurate uh, representation. Um, we're here for uh, S Coupe, which is um, arguably one of the most beautiful cars that we've uh, produced, and I think really uh, puts an exclamation point on what Gordon was talking about, this central purity direction and design direction, uh, more youthful, embracing uh, emotion and technology together. Um, but also, we're here, just give you a few uh, updates on where we are for the year. Obviously, we're... Uh, well into the fourth quarter. Uh, as I mentioned yesterday, we're gearing up to our best year on record. Um, and a lot of that is really because of the product line of Oreo, we're, uh, what we're bringing out. Now keep in mind that most of our momentum, we're up about 8.5% year over year. Um, most of that is at the end of the year. So the first new product that we really launched this year was in August. So if you think about all the momentum that we've had constantly, we just haven't had the new product in the market. And that's really starting to change. We had the C-Class that launched in August. Um, we have the GLA, the new entry point for our SUV family. Uh, SUVs count for about a third of our sales. So if you take that um, strategy with uh, adding a new dynamic, um, the huge conquest rates that we see with CLA, and you add that to the SUV family, that's a compelling um, uh, momentum that we can have moving forward. Uh, so GLA last, uh, launched last month, and then the S Coupe actually launched two days ago. So you guys are absolutely the first ones uh, to have them on the road here. Um, at the higher end, uh, AMG sales are up 57%. Uh, I have to laugh on that because I think they keep going up more and more um, after I left AMG. So uh, that's interesting. And uh, I want to introduce uh, Brandon Cote. Well, well, there you go. <laughs> the man uh, responsible for that, that's uh, Brandon Cote, who's our manager uh, for AMG. And then next to him is uh, Katie Aurelio who's our uh, assistant product manager for all the expensive cars that we have, uh, including the S and the S Coupe. Um, S Coupe is, uh, you know, we can talk about the design, um, the technology that's in that car. One of the things I would, I would spend a little time with in the car, Gordon spoke about this last night in terms of all the technology that you had in the car, but there's also a sense of analog um, elements that are in the car. So if you look at the little... Uh, registers and the, and the HVAC vents, um, you'll notice that they click when you move them and when you move the vents up and down that they click. So you just have these great screens, you have everything in terms of autonomous driving uh, capability, um, but you also have this you know, old world craftsmanship and this mechanical sense uh, that the car brings together. And obviously we're going to continue that momentum. Um, we mentioned last year that we were in the midst of launching 30 new models over a seven year period. Uh, so I hope you like us because you're going to be seeing a lot of us over the next uh, six or seven years and hopefully places like this here in Rhode Island. Um, but it's really exciting time to be at Mercedes-Benz. Uh, I've been here 11 years and I can say the, uh, the passion and the direction and the drive mm -hmm. moving forward has probably never been uh, at a higher level. Mm -hmm.